stew down, little lady. Then they stew down. Hold on, if I do this for the entire video, people might get bored. Okay. Well, anyways, welcome, everybody. I'm Liz University, and welcome to No Taku. For in case for some of you that just tuning in and you're wondering what a No Taku is, is essentially somebody like me, somebody who's nerdy over anime. And today we're talking about the Goat in the Shell 1996 anime movie and. You're probably going to hear me say this a lot in this review, so minor spoilers and minor annoyance, but this is one of the most beautiful anime films I've seen, and for good reasons, I mean, this is just purely one of the most amazing films that I've just ever seen in my entire life, and it's just great. Now, I've already seen... Uh, Scarlett Johansson's Goat in the Shell, uh, like I said, I might review that on the channel, maybe at some point, um, but, like, for a live action month or whatever, but this is one of the most, uh, beautiful anime films I've ever seen, and purely for good reason. So, this is based on a manga by, um, I don't remember his name, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, do -do 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 by... I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, Shiro Masume. And this film, I never read the manga, but I should. And maybe do like a pair of contrast at some point. But this film is one of the most beautiful anime films I've ever seen. Um, and the music, oh my god. I love the music. It was just fantastic to hear. Even though you might be thinking, well, it's just like a woman's choir and just a person beating like a very big drum. But, oh my god, it is so amazing. There was a moment where they play a Japanese guitar. I don't know the specific name for that. But just, oh my god, beautiful. I, I swear, and this is going to sound gross, but I swear because of the, the beautiful animation and the beautiful music, I could basically have like a nerdgasm because of how good this is. <laughs> um, so this film focuses on Major, and um, I believe her name was Major Katsu. Um... Major Katsuko, Katsuki, Katsu, Katsuki, Katsuki, and, you know, she is a ghost, what they call it, too, and basically is that she's a machine, but she still has her soul inside of her, so it's not like everybody in this is a soul machine, they have something called a ghost, which is sort of like, uh, in my opinion, a soul, so you can't say, you soul machine, you bad dude, no, they actually are basically machines, um, they're not soulless pieces of equipment, and I really did love what this film had to offer and, and everything, and this is just one of the, again, the most amazing animation films that I've ever seen, the anime quality, it's amazing, um, this is not for children, because there was a scene in this where, uh, Major shoots somebody, and his fucking head explodes, so, not for children. <laughs> um, there's also a lot of nudity in this, like there's a lot of, lot of uh, breasts and um, asses. Not so much the JJs, but not so much old pies and, and booty shots. And, you know, uh, I was like, wow. There's a lot of like creepy horror moments in this too, like the ending where the, the zoom just goes in on Major's face. There's another scene where um, they have this robot that's been ran over by a truck laying down and then it creepily comes to life and you hear the sound effect that they use for the body coming to life oh jesus i got chills watching that moment i got so creeped out i'm not even lying um but you know so there's this thing that's going around in the city uh, that's called the Puppet Master, and he is a secret project that Dr. Willis worked on in the past, and that he never told anybody about. And the Puppet Master is basically this guy that is underground, and he controls, he pulls strings, basically, like a Puppet Master would, and he pulled the strings of whoever that he wants to, to do his bidding. But what's really sad, and even made me cry when I watched this film, is the garbage truck driver, the first guy that he possesses, um, had memories of having a wife and a daughter, which was, you know, so beautiful, and when he was talking to his friend about it in, in the car ride, in the garbage truck ride, I was like, oh, you know, that's kind of cute, that's kind of sweet, and then when he just, when they admit that this was just created 
for him alone, I was like, oh, you monsters. I was like, oh my god, you monsters. You did, you basically brain teased him and then eliminated everything. I was like, oh my god, this is so sad. And the sad part is, is that this is a real thing that happened to other people, that they have these memories of, you know, certain people, and then it, what's sad about it is that it's ripped away from them. And they can't remember anything, like it's a white photograph for them, and that's very sad. And that's what basically made me chew up there in, in, in watching it, because I was like, oh my god, this is an actual thing that happens to go, so many good people. You know, I, I knew a few people, and they passed away now, um, who had Alzheimer's who would like that. And, you know, it's a sad thing when you see good people that happen to good people and everything, and it's just, you know, so sad. <clears throat> so, you know, compared to the Scarlett Johansson film, this one is a lot shorter and it has a lot more working for it. This was a low budget project, by the way, that became a, such a cult uh, classic in the minds of otakus. And for good reason, the animation, again, is flawless. The voice, I listened to the Japanese voice acting, and what's good for me is that um, even though it was in Japanese, YouTube had the audacity, and it's free on YouTube, by the way, so you can watch it on YouTube. I had the decency of um, giving me the um, English subtitles, which is nice because I'm hearing impaired, for those of you that don't know, so, um, you know, that that's the one reason why I watch films with, like, subtitles or captions, because I can't understand what they're saying without that help, and it is amazingly, uh, you know, good to have. But the Japanese voice acting is stupendous. Um, I did listen to a few clips that had the English voice acting. Um, I'm just gonna say this, the English voice acting is kind of cringy. So, if you're gonna watch this film, uh, I recommend going with the Japanese dub, uh, the English dub. Yeah, not, not, not so much. Um, but you know, the ending in both films actually do feel quite um, original, except for the puppet master who doesn't appear in the moot and the anime who does not appear in the anime um at the ending he does appear um technically but through major he starts talking through to her her damaged body after she fought the spider tank and you know uh she does live she does survive towards the end of it and then her and batu go the, the other way and now i do have to say this real quick i love her relationship with batu um, because they feel like that they have, like, this cute relationship going on, either that or, um, they have, like, this brother-sister relationship, and as a brother, I have two sisters, um, as a brother, I can definitely symbolize that sometimes you have this relationship with, you, with your sisters as well, so it does feel like that they have this cute sort of relationship going on, because they do have cute banter every now and then, so I thought that was really nice, but the moments when the music kicks in, when there is no dialogue, it gives you the sensation, you know, of what kind of beauty that this has, and the music quality is amazing, and the uh, soundtrack designer who did this film, or the music guy that did this, is my god, amazing, you know. I would just own this film, uh, too, because simply, it's just purely amazing. There is nothing else I can say, except it's amazing, and if you haven't seen this film yet you're missing out man this is one of the most beautifully and impressive movies ever period um <laughs> and you know as a guy who can appreciate good animation quality and good film quality this is definitely one of them you know i i after i saw a uh, spirited away um by studio ghibli i thought uh, you know the film quality and that was and it still is amazing um, I first saw it way back in, I believe, like, 27, 2018, I think, um, which was the first time I saw it booted away. Even still today, I can still say that film has a beautiful animated quality, and this film definitely does, even though it was made back in 1996. And so, you know what, if I had to ever grade films, which I usually don't, um, as a film critic and as a guy who likes to critique films in his own way, I have to give this film a 10. My God, it's just so beautiful. It is an amazing film, and if you haven't seen it yet, it is free 
and available on YouTube. I will link it in the description down below in case you have a hard time finding it. Um, and again, this is just such one of the most beautiful, beautifully put together films ever. I know I've probably beaten the word beautiful to death, but that's what it is. It's just so beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Notaku. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Is there a certain anime that you want to see me check out? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <coughs>